What'd you do this morning, Skyla? I I brushed my teeth and I ate cereal. Ooh, that's good. I'm glad you brushed your teeth. That's always good. Guy, take care of your teeth. It's always good. One more. One more person who wants to share out. Uh, Batu. One thing I did this morning is I is I watch TV. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay. It's one o'clock, so we're gonna get started. So I need eyes on I need eyes on the camera. Make sure I can see you. Make sure your camera is on. So right now, Zalia, I can't see you. Fatumata, make sure you're in the camera. Ibrahim, great job. Klaus is there. Awesome. So let's practice one more time that when you want to raise a hand for me, you need to put your hand up like this so I can see you. Can I see that from everybody? Put your hand up like you're answering a question, or answering a question. Awesome. Hand down. And hand on your nose. Just see where following instructions. Make sure you all can hear me. Um, two hands on your ears. Hold the ears out like that. And then make a face. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Awesome. So another thing that we're going to do is throughout the lesson, I'm going to look for stock scholars to spotlight. Spotlight is when, is when instead of looking at my face, we look at other people's face. So like right now I see Leah is doing a great job of tracking. So I spotlight Leah. Oh, hi, Leah. Everyone wave hello to Leah. Now we can all see her. Awesome. So if someone's doing a great job, if someone's doing a great job, maybe we'll spotlight, spotlight you so everyone can see you. Okay, so can, are we still look, is everyone still looking at Leah, or can you see me? Spotlight me. Now, can you see me? Give me a thumbs up, you can see me? Yes, awesome. Okay. Oh, why did we go back to Leah? Hmm. That's weird. Now you can see me. Now, if I hit this, we go back to Leah. Hmm. Hey Leah, can you do me a favor? Can you, is your mom or dad there? Can you can you log out of the meeting and come back in? I think for some reason the computer is confu confused about you. You can just come right back in. And we'll let you back in, okay? Thank you, Leah's mom. That's very helpful. Okay, so now could everyone? No, now I want to. Why is it doing that? We're just going to stick with me. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm very excited. I have a new, a new online game to show you guys today that you can do on your own. But first, first we're going to add on to our rhythm we did last time. Does everyone remember the body percussion rhythm we did? Everyone remember that body percussion where we, um, we clapped and we stomped and we snapped? Remember that? Yes? Yeah? Okay, so everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. Make sure you can still see the camera. Make sure you're standing up. Be there in five, in four, in three, in two, in one, and in there. I'm checking. Looks like almost everyone's there. Does anyone does anyone show me a hand? If you think you remember the whole thing, you could show us. Does anyone remember the whole thing? No one? Okay, we're gonna learn it. Ready? First we stop. One stop. Okay, then we, we we're gonna go stop. Clap, clap, pat, pat. Try that. Ready, go. Stomp, clap, clap, pat, pat. There you go. And now we do a snap at the end. Stomp, clap, clap, pat, clap, snap. One more time, my turn, and I'm going to spotlight someone I can see who's really nailing it. Cox, make sure you're participating. Yeah, stand up, be doing the body percussion. My turn. Stomp, clap, clap, pat, clap, snap. Ready, go. Stomp, clap, clap. Pat, clap, snap. Ooh, show me a hand if you think you can do it. You think you can spotlight it? Ooh, make sure your hand's in the camera, not up like this, because I can't see your hand. Make sure your hand's in the camera. So I'm gonna go, whoops. Sorry, let's see. Um, Camille, that's what I was trying to get you. Camille, can you do it for us? Um, Camille, hold on, let me, let me, let me unmute you, sorry. There you go. Okay, Camille, go for it. Ready, go. Ooh, so so close. Make sure it's only one pat at the end. Who else can try? Who else can try? Skyla, ready to try. Skyla, can you try? Um, where's Skyla? 
Skylar, try it. We can't hear you, but he, we'll follow your body. Okay, Skylar, ready? Uh, 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 Mr. Sermons, can you find Skylar? Unmute her. I'm not finding. There she is. Okay, Skylar, go for it. Ready, go. Ooh, so close. Let's everyone watch me one more time, then we're going to do it again. Okay, eyes on me. Eyes on me. It goes like this. It goes stomp, clap, 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 snap. I'll do it one more time. You do it with me this time. Everyone's together watching me, though. Everyone's together. Ready, go. Stomp, clap, 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 snap. Ooh, so right now, almost everyone's participating. I see a couple scholars I would hate to call out who are not participating. Who feels like they can nail it? Zoe does. Zoe, ready? Zoe, ready, go. Ooh, she nailed it. Yeah, everyone give her a thumbs up. Everyone give her, give her a thumbs up. Awesome. Now, today we're going to learn part two. You ready? Here's part two. So after that, we do this now. Now we're going to go, um, we're going to go clap, clap, pat, pat. Try that. Ready, go. Clap, clap, pat, pat. Pretty easy, right? Next is going to be clap, clap, pat, pat, stomp. Ready, go. Clap, clap, pat, pat, stomp. Klaus, this is your final warning. You need to be participating. Otherwise, you will be marked absent. You need to be participating, Klaus. Okay, so we're going to go clap. Oh, my fault. I messed it up. Clap, clap. No. Am I messing it up? Mm. Stomp. What's up, Mr. Sermos? Don't you do the stomp first and then clap, clap? Ooh, we do the stomp first the first time. So this is the second half. Right. So, gonna, so if we do it all together, starting way from the beginning, way from the beginning, it's gonna be stomp, clap, clap, pat, clap, snap, pat, pat, clap, clap. Can you remember all that? That's a lot to remember first grade. I'll do it one more time, then I'm gonna see if someone can remember that whole thing. From the beginning, ready, and stomp, clap, clap, pat, clap, snap, pat, pat, clap, clap. Ooh, one more time doing it with me, then I'm looking for some people who can showcase it and be awesome. I see Tyler's doing a great job following along and his little sister. Uh-oh. Here we go from the beginning. Ready and stomp, clap, 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 snap, pat, pat, clap, clap. Ooh, who can do it? Who thinks they can do it for out for all of us? Um, Austin, give me a second, Austin. Ooh, Austin, I'm trying to unmute you. There you go. Austin, can you try it? Ready, go. Ooh, so close. It's a lot to remember, isn't it, Austin? That's a lot to remember. Who who else can try? One more person to try this pattern. Um, how about Umu? Umu, go ahead. Ready, go. <laughs> Stomp, clap, 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 snap. Very close. Let's everyone do, I'm going to keep Umu spotlighted, and we're going to do it together. So everyone's doing it with us. We're just watching Umu. Ready, Umu? Everyone's together. Ready, go. Stomp, clap, 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 clap snap, pat, pat, clap, clap. Ooh, that was much better. Good job, Umu. Good fix. Okay, everyone sit down and be back. Come be there in three. Sitting down, checking me in two. In one and in zero, checking for who's there. Ooh, Mateo, do not jump on the chair. You need to sit. Awesome. Give me a thumbs up in the camera if you remember some of the instruments that we talked about in music a while ago. We talked about the orchestra, and there's a bunch of instruments in the orchestra. Put a th show me a thumbs up if you remember at least one of those instruments. Amelia, put it away. Who can share out at least one of those instruments that's in the orchestra? Hmm. J Jael, what's one of the instruments in the orchestra? What was your question? One of the, what's one of the instruments from the orchestra? I'm not sure if you were there when we learned about it, but you might know. The thing, violin? Ooh, a violin, yes, awesome, that's a violin. What's another one? Let's keep this going, what's another one that we remember? Um, Jair, what's another one? The five string family. 
Ooh, you got the, the, you read the violence from the string family. Awesome. Who else? Who else? Now we're on a roll for a spray. Jadio, put it down. Serena. Cello. The cello. Yeah, that's also in the string family. What else? I want three more. See, remember, three more. Maria. Um, a piano. Ooh, a piano. It, a piano can be part of the orchestra. Um, Cameron. A viola. A, oh, but we say viola, but you're exactly right. And one more. Does anyone remember one that's not in the string family? Because there's other families. Tyler put the water down. Jose. Um, the flute. The flute, yes. Jose, do you remember what instrument family the flute's from? Um, the woodwind. Whoa, big props to Jose. Jose, I'm giving you like six claps because you remember the instrument name and what it was from. Nice job, Jose. Now, we have a, I have an online game here for us that is all part, that is all about the orchestra. So I'm going to share my screen here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Hold on. Just a second. Okay. Here we go. Now give me a thumbs up if you can see a thing that says new game or continue and has lots of red. Can you see that? Give me a thumbs up if you can see that. Yes, awesome. So this game is called the Young Horses Guide to the Orchestra. I'm going to send this link to your parents so you can play it on your own, but we're going to explore it. Okay, so let's listen. I need all eyes on the screen and ears ready to listen. love books. Look at all of them. I don't think I've ever seen so many in one place. Hmm, this one must be one of his favorites. Benjamin Britten. So do you remember this, do you, this first grade, remember the, the song that we listened to that had all the orchestra things? It was a video and they, each one of the instrument family got to play and perform in the same thing and had that same music, give me a thumbs up if you remember that. Some people say no, some people say yes. Okay, first grade, I need you to have your eyes on the screen. I'm seeing a lot of people who are not tracking the screen. That's not okay. Tracking, let's see. Thank you, Kimani. Jackson, make sure you're tracking. Hello? Violet's my favorite niece. Uncle Ollie, it's you. You'll never guess where I am. Your library. And you, my young adventurous flower, will never guess where I am. And what I've just found, I'm in the jungle on safari. Safari? I've been walking for days, and I've just stumbled across the most amazingly delightful, delovely thing. The remains of a real, honest-to-goodness symphony orchestra stage. A stage? In the jungle? Yes, a stage for a symphony orchestra. A symphony orchestra? That's what I was just reading about in your library. Some old dead guy from England named Ben Britton. It says that this Ben guy wrote a piece of music, The Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra, for kids at school to teach them about the symphony orchestra. But hey, didn't you once tell me that symphony orchestras were all dead and stuff? Alas, my beautiful begonia, you weren't even born when last I heard an orchestra. I was with your dear, now dead, Aunt Lucretia. May, May she rest, rest in peace. peace. It was a sound... For sore ears? Yeah, look, this is all very nice, but if we could just make this quick... Of course, darling, but you know, Violet, my daisy, I wonder, it just might be possible to bring this place back to life. What, the stage? Wouldn't we need all of the instruments to do that? Precisely, my adventure guide extraordinaire. And that's where you come in, for it just so happens that the instruments are scattered throughout the jungle. How would you like to collect one of each and bring them all to me at the stage? Well, I guess I could try, but Uncle Ollie, I don't really know my way around this particular jungle, and 
then what about the instruments? I mean, I've never seen any of them before. How would I even recognize them? But darling girl, the answer is right in front of you. The book, The Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra, tells you everything you could ever want to know about the orchestra and its instruments. Okay, so there's a page right here that shows a diagram of a symphony orchestra stage. Hey, this looks interesting. I wonder what would happen if I just press... That was O-T-H. O-T-H? Off the hook, you know, awesome. But there's one thing that's kind of puzzling me. Why does the seating chart have four different colored sections? Ah, yeah, uh, uh, yes, the color-coded seating chart. Allow me to attempt an explanation. The instruments in the symphony orchestra are divided into four groups called families. The instruments in each family look like each other in some ways sort of like a human family you know everyone always said you have my nose uh-huh very nice now what about the colors the, uh, oh, oh right the colors each color on the seating chart represents a different family and shows where the instruments of that family sit on stage let's take a look at them one by one shall we the orchestra oh so now first grade are we ready the cool thing is, what we're going to do today in music is we're, we're remembering all these instruments and we're practicing. And then this whole game, this thing down here at the bottom of the screen, is a whole game that you guys can do on your own to hunt down all those different instruments throughout the orchestra and use your music knowledge to hunt them down in the safari. So, let's turn this page here. We'll start with the woodwinds. I believe it's the green section, my orchid. Just press it and you can hear them play the same theme that the entire orchestra just played. Hey, that was pretty cool. But why are they called woodwinds? Oh, that's easy, my little water lily. Many of the woodwind family are made of wood, and players use their wind, you know, their breath, to play them. Aha, uh -huh. makes sense. Wood, wind, woodwind. Ooh, the woodwind family. So if you've been in music, we learned a lot of this, but this is a great way to review. Remember, we have five instruments here, and we got to pay attention, because in a minute, there's going to be a challenge where we're going to have to quiz. We have to, we have to get... We have to get into um, into the garage here and unlock the lock so that we can get the Jeeps, we can go find all these instruments. So there's gonna be a challenge here in a bit. We have to study each one of these instruments. So in the woodwinds, we got the bassoon, the clarinet, the oboe, the flute, and the piccolo. The bassoon's pretty big. It's pretty big. And then the small one went over here. Who can remember? Who can remember why small instruments are really high pitch, and big instruments are really low pitch? Who can remember that, Sirajo? It's because it's because it's because like 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 the bass, like the bass, like the bass. It's it's low. When when you play with it, it's low. It's because it's too big. So 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 the small so the small flute is is small. It's it, it's small. It, it's small. Yeah, you're right. The smaller it is, the higher pitch it's gonna be. So right now, first grade, I need to see you think. I need to see you think. You gotta remember each one of these five wooden instruments. So take a look. There's the bassoon, the clarinet, the oboe, the flute, and the piccolo. We gotta remember those because you're gonna be a quiz soon. Gotta remember, take 10 seconds, remember. Bassoon, clarinet, oboe, flute, piccolo. Let me see you thinking. Uji is thinking. Mr. Sermas, can you mute those mics, please? I can't see them. Awesome, now here's another cool thing. We can watch all of these instruments go low to high. Just the piccolo because it's 
so high. Mm. So we just learned about the woodwinds, right? What are the, wh which one do you think we're going to go to now? Show me a hand in the camera. Which one do you think we're going to go to now? Hmm, just take a guess. Jacob, which one do you think? I think we're going to go think, you mean the color? Yeah, which color? Red, yellow, or blue? I think we're going to go to, I think the yellow, no. The yellow one? The yellow one? Okay, let's see. Let's see if he's right. Ready? Okay, which family sits in the yellow section? That would be the brass family. Players also blow into these instruments, but they have a totally different sound. They are made of... Wait, let me guess. Let me guess. Brass? Then why aren't they called the brass winds? Oh, good question. Such a quick study. A chip off the old block. No, we just call them the brass family. Now, press the yellow section, my daffodil, and you can hear how they sound playing that same familiar theme. Majestic. I like that one. Majestic, yes. I like that word. The brass family. Oh, so in the brass family, we're, right, we only got four instruments. Can anyone read those four instruments for me? Someone read the names of those four instruments for me. Jackson, go ahead. Tuba, trombone, horn, trumpet. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, the tuba, see how big the tuba is? It sounds really low. Yeah, and then the trumpet all the way up here is really high. Because it's smaller. So right now, pick one instrument that you're going to airplay. I'm going to play this section again. I need you to pick the tuba, the trombone, the horn, or the trumpet. Which one are you going to airplay? Pick it. Mm. Okay, I'm going to play this, and I'm going to pick someone to spotlight to see, who, to see what they're doing. Ready? Gonna air play one of them. Here we go. Yeah, awesome. So that's the brass family. Which one do you think we're going to next? We've done the woodwinds and the brass. We have the red ones and the blue ones left. Which one do you think? Abubakar, which one do you think? I think we're doing the 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 red one. The red one? Okay. See if see if he's right. Now, the next family, my tulip, is quite different. But you will like them all the same. It's the string family. As you may guess, their sound comes from vibrating strings. Bravo, my pretty peony. Press the pink section to hear them. different but awesome too the string family awesome so we're really good at being at the string family aren't we the string family has five can someone read those for me can someone read the five ones there kingston go ahead Thanks, hello, why, why, we say viola hello why rated heart and harp yeah what's the one that looks different someone else what's the one the, all of these look similar except one of them looks different which one is that one that looks different Jaya, which one looks different um the harp yeah the harp looks different all the other ones are basically looking the same except they're some are bigger than others right this this one here is the bass it's really big so what's what do you think it's going to sound like someone show me a hand what based on how big it is you think it's going to be a low sound or a high sound Ellie? It could, it, it's it's going to be a low sound. I agree. Let's listen. Yeah, yeah it's really low. Sometimes, sometimes the high sounds hurt my ears. Yeah. Mr. Sermos, can you find Ellie and mute him for me? And then over here, we have the violin. That was really small. So do you think it's going to be a high sound or a low sound? 
I found a robot sound if it's really, really small. Let me, who thinks they know? Mm, Jose. Jose, do you think it's gonna be a low sound or a high sound? If it's a violin, it's really small. Jose V? A, a high sound. Yeah, it's gonna be a high sound. Awesome. So pick one of these. First grade, pick one, the bass, the cello, the viola, the violin, or the harp. Just remember the harp we play out in front of us. Pick one of them to airplay as we listen to this one more time. I'm looking for something to spotlight. Think about which one you're going to do. I see Ibrahim's ready. Here we go. Big shout out to Ibrahim because I really saw him doing a great job following, following along. Awesome. And the last one is anyone know the last instrument family? We've done woodwinds, brass, and strings. Ibrahim, what's that last one? The last one? The last one is the harp? No, what's the in instrument the family? Last done... family? The last family? Yeah. The last um the last family is the is the person. Oh, so close. It's it's called the percussion, Ibrahim, but you're right. You remember to start with a P. Great job. Let's look at the percussion. I can hardly wait to hear the last family. And so you shall, my cornflower. Drum roll, please. Meet the percussion family. Okay, that sounded like cool things banging. Lots of different ones. Good ear, my dear. Yes, and get this. All the members of this family are played by either striking, scraping, or shaking, or as you so vividly put it, banging. The percussion family. Awesome. So we like the percussion family, right? We have a lot of percussion instruments in our room. Percussion instruments can make some, uh, can make a little very funny sounds. How do percussion instruments make sounds? What's some way that you, they make sounds? Uh, Ethan. By um, by some, by playing them. Well, yeah, but how do you play them? Do you do you blow air through them, Ethan? No. No. What do you do to play percussion instruments, Ethan? You take you take yeah, you anything that's with it and then play with it. Mm, you're on the right track. It's something more specific. Think about a drum. A drum's a percussion instrument. What do you do to a drum to make it make sound? What do you do to a drum to make it make sound? Yeah, there you go. You can hit it. I need everyone's eyes on the camera. I'm seeing some people being distracted. Eyes on the camera. You can hit. You can hit the, some of these percussion instruments. Some of them, though, like the, like the tambourine. <coughs> right but then we also have big timpani big drum timpani are really big like they're so big and we got crash cymbals awesome. yeah, the percussion family so here's now what we're going to do now to get ready for our safari we got to get it uh oh uncle ollie the door is locked now what not to worry my geranium the lock just looks tricky all you have to do is press the instruments that belong to the family you see at the top of the keypad you'll collect one family at a time when you get all four families done the door will open and you'll be ready to roll my rosebud ready uncle ollie just one last question what's that like virginia what's with you and flowers gee I better try this thing right away. Mr. Sermon, can you mute everybody, please? Awesome. So here's how this works in first grade. So here's how this works. Right now, we're trying to find all the instruments in the woodwind family. I've got to click on them before they vanish. So what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to pick on one scholar, and as soon as you see one, you're going to name it, and I'm going to click on it. For example, Sergio, you're up first. Okay, so just so we're looking for woodwind. So as soon as you see a woodwind, say the name of it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there you got it. Yeah, who else can go? 
who else can, who can get another one? Um, Serena, keep an eye out for a woodwind and call it out. Uh, the trumpet. Nope, not a woodwind. What? Uh, string bases. Nope, that's that's a string instrument. Remember, we're looking for woodwinds. Looking for woodwinds. Who else can try? Show me a hand if you can try. How about Jotty L? I don't even know what it is. Serena, it's okay. This is challenging. Serena, where are you at? Mrs. Sermas, can you meet everyone again, please? Um, Maria, your turn. Looking for woodwinds, Maria. Oh, only woodwinds, Maria. Oh, yeah, we got the flute. Oh, there's the flute too. Okay, we gotta get one more. Who can get one more? We got one more woodwind to unlock the woodwind family. Um, Cameron. Okay, keep an eye out. Make sure when this one's a woodwind, you gotta call it out. The clarinet. Oh, there it was, but I missed it. Gotta be fast. Yeah. There it is. Hey, this is pretty neat. Yeah, okay. Now we're on string family. So everyone take a second to think about the strings. What instruments what instruments are we looking for for strings? Okay, here we go. Um, who can give me one? Okay, Kimani, your turn. When you see a string instrument, call it out. That. Yeah, the bass. Good job, Kimani. Who else can do it? Mm, Jose A. Jose A. When you see a string, um, instrument, what else? Okay, now the violin. Yeah, good job, Jose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, who else can do it? Now we're on a roll, first grade. Yeah, Tyler, your turn. Viola. Oh, too late. Heart. Ooh, yeah, good job. Now, who else? We got one left. We got one left. We're so close. We're so close. Uh, Fatu. Looking for a string instrument. Viola. Oh, it's, it's too late. Good try. Viola. I, I clicked the wrong one. Fatu, you got it right, but I clicked Oops, the wrong one. I'll try again. Okay. So we, I'll get this real quick because Fatu yeah. got it. Now be careful. Yep, if I you pick the wrong one, you have to try it again. Yep. Be careful. If you press the wrong one, you have to start again. Yep, I hear you. Sorry, first grade. This is my fault. I hit the wrong one. Even though Fatu said the right thing, I hit the wrong one. That's my fault. So now we're waiting. When you see a string instrument, I need you to put your hand in the camera real fast, everybody, so I know when to hit it. One. When you see one, put your hand in the camera so I know. Oh, I one again. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was tricky. Maybe I need to go back to school. There we go. That okay. was fun. Okay, who can call it a brass instrument? Um, Sergio. The trombone. Yeah, Sergio. Okay, who can do another one? Um, a boob car. Symbols. Nope, that's not a brass Ooh. instrument. Call that when you see it, a boob car. French horn. Ooh, but it's gone. That was awesome. Who can do one more? Tuba, tuba. Yeah, that was the tuba. Um, Sergio, can you mute your mic for me? Who can do another one? We're looking for more brass instruments. We're looking for more. Ooh, Jody L. Jody L, ready? Tuba. Oh, there it was. It's gone now. Gotta be fast. Tuba. There it is. Yeah. Okay, one more. One more. Klaus, looking for one Trump more brass it. instrument. Oh, there it was. We'll see if it comes back. Trumpet. Okay, now you got, got it. Okay, now we got percussion. Remember percussion is like drums and shakers and stuff. You don't blow into it, you gotta shake it, you gotta hit it. 
Um, who can do one? How about Ethan? Ethan, call it out when you uh, see one. The drum. Yeah, good. We got a, got a bass drum. Um, okay, Zoe. Zoe, call it out. Bang it, bang it. Triangle. Yeah, we have the triangle. Uh, triangle. Okay. We need two more. We need two more. Who can get the last two? We're so close to unlocking the unlocking this card. Kingston. Looking for one, two more. The snare. Yeah, we got the snare. Uh, nice. And the last one. This last one. Everyone, when you see it, when you see percussion instrument, put both hands up in the camera so I can see it. Gotta be fast though. Everyone's gotta help me on this one. Where is it? Where is it? There! The woodblock! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'll try again. That's okay. So now we're back to the oh my goodness. Can you see me now? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to send that link to you guys. That wasn't the whole game. That was only the intro of the game. The whole game is you got to go through the safari and find all the different instruments. It's a lot. So if you guys want to want to advance your music knowledge, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to, I'm going to Jupiter message it to your parents, okay? So now that we remember all of those instruments, I have a recording for you. I need you to listen to this song and see what instruments do you hear. So everyone's ready to listen. What instruments do you hear in this song? Here we go. If you can tell me some of those instruments, then we can have a dance off. Deal? Okay, I'm gonna play one more time. Listen for those instruments. What instruments do you hear? How do you do? Good morning, blues. Blues, how do you do? Ooh, okay, show me hands. Show me hands. Um, Siphon, what instrument do you hear? Siphon, what instrument do you hear? Okay, second, I'll come back to you. Someone else remember? Show me a hand. Did you hear an instrument that you recognized? Camille, which one did you hear? I heard a trumpet. Yeah, there are plenty of trumpets. It was a high brass sound. Awesome. Nice job. Thomas, what did you hear? What I hear, I, I, I heard was a flute. Yeah, there might have been a flute too. Yeah. Um, how about Austin? A violin. Yeah, there might have been some violins. Did anyone hear drums? Did anyone hear drums? Yeah, I heard some drums. Um, did you hear a harp? Mm, I didn't hear a harp. Mm, what, what about a piano? Did you hear a piano? Was there anyone singing? Yeah, there was, of course there was someone singing. Yeah, let's listen again. I'm doing all right. Good morning. Yeah, so of course there was someone singing, right? Now, she's singing the blues. We're going to start talking about the blues in the next few weeks. Has anyone heard, heard someone say, I have the blues? Has anyone heard that? I got the blues? Yeah, Jacob, have you heard, who, you heard, who did you hear that for, from? Um, I heard a book that I'm, I'm, so, it's in a book that we read, and then it says, um, um, and both kids has uh, arm blues. Yeah, okay. Does anyone know what the blue, when you, when you have the blues, what does that mean? When you have the blues, what does that mean? Ellie, go ahead. It means that, that your arm, um, that your arm is, that your arm is broken. Okay, that could be a reason you have the blues, that you're definitely right. Klaus, what do you think? I think blue, the blue, Nate, 
I think blue is sad. Yeah, there you go. The blues, when you have the blues, you're sad. You're not feeling too good. So think right now, right now. I'm enjoying being at home sometimes. I get to spend a lot of time with my dog. But if I'm, I also have the blues. I don't get to see you guys every day. So is there something else like that's happening right now that would make you have the blues? When some, what's something that make would make make you have the blues, um, Jeter? When I didn't see my dog, I had the blues. Oh yeah, when you didn't see your dog, you had the blues. Okay, well, someone else. Two more. Who else maybe has the blues, and why? Hmm. Naturally. When, 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 when I had my my favorite scooter, it 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 was broken. Yeah, when it was broken. Yeah. So, um, I'll take one more, Mohammed. Um, I had the blue when when I fell when I fell in you know, I had a I fell down. Yeah, when you fell down, yeah. So first grade blues blues is a type of music um, that is about people people singing about when they have the blues when they're not feeling too good, and usually the usually the blues when they're singing about the blues they're telling you why they have the blues. So let's listen again. This time, listen to what the singer is saying. Why does she have the blues? Or what she's singing about? Let's listen. I saw Ellie dancing there. We'll have another dance off in a minute. If you could tell me, what was she saying? What was she saying? Like, what was she singing about? Uh, Umu, go ahead. I heard that she said, how do you do? Yeah, she said, how do you do? What else did we hear her saying? Fatu. Um, the long blues. Yeah, she's singing about blues. One more. One more person who heard something, heard something about what she was saying. Maria. <laughs> You feel blue because you have blue shirt and blue bow tie. Look, I didn't even plan that. And I do, I am wearing a blue shirt and have a blue bow tie. Very good observation. I didn't even plan that, Maria. So this song is called Good Morning Blues. It's called? It's called Good Morning Blues. Yeah. So sometimes when you get up in the morning, are you very happy? Like when maybe you're really tired in the morning? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe, so that's what this song's about. The good morning blues. You're waking up. You're not happy about it. So in the in the blues, we have some we have some instruments that we that are part of the orchestra that play me some different instruments. We already named some of them. We named the trumpet, and we named the uh, trombone. Yeah, nice job, Muhammad. Tracking. I love that. Um, we had trumpet, trombone, piano. Awesome. But there's some other ones as well. So to finish our class today. You have two options. You can either just dance to the Good Morning Blues and do, show off some great dance moves, or the one I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an instrument that I hear and I'm going to airplay it and maybe dance along with it, seeing so like doing the trumpet and dance along with it. Mr. Sermos is, gonna, is going to spotlight some scholars who are really showing some awesome dance moves or some awesome airplay. Got it? So everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. Be there in three, in two, in one. And in zero. Awesome. So Mr. Sermons is watching, and I'm watching too for scholars I want to spotlight who are doing a great job um, dancing or airplaying. Here we go. Let's do the good morning blues. <laughs>
some nice dance moves. Yeah, everyone have a seat. Be back there in three. Sitting down, tracking me in two, in one, and in zero. Awesome. So today we talked about a bunch of a bunch of different instruments, both in the orchestra and not. And we started talking about the blues. Next time I see you, we're gonna keep talking about the blues. When I see you next time, your homework is very easy. Ready? Your homework for next time, and I'm not gonna see you again until next Friday, is gonna be I need to have two things that that over this last week gave you the blues and you can't choose get blues so you have to have two things that gave you the blues between now and when i see you next friday got it show me thumbs up if you got it awesome so i'm gonna send the link to that game to your parents it's a really fun game i spent like three hours playing yesterday it's so much fun and you guys can really explore the orchestra. I'm also gonna put it in the chat, in the chat here, if there are any parents right now who want to if you want to copy that out of there, but I'll also send it out in a Jupyter message, okay? Uh, Ms. Perez, are you there? Yes, you are. Ms. Perez, are you there? I am here. Awesome, okay, they're all yours. They have a very easy homework assignment for next week. They need to tell